All right, I am back, sixth grade. We're talking bracket challenge three, not two. I bracket challenge three, body paragraph one, and for period three, four, five, six, body paragraphs one and two, where we talk about the problem, prove it's a problem, come up with a solution, and prove the solution is viable and could work. Let's take a look. Let's get rid of this. Let's do this. All right, five parts. We've done it before. Topic sentence, which you're going to steal from your thesis. Your cited and paraphrased text that proves your problem is a problem. A transition that takes us from citing the text and paraphrasing to the explain, which is our solution. This time, our explain the cited and paraphrased text is actually us coming up with a solution and supporting it with facts, data, expert opinion, and then a concluding sentence that will match the topic sentence. Let's take a look. Topic sentence, as your president, I will make sure that in my first 100 days that I tackle and defeat the food insecurity problem that faces our nation. Okay, that general idea comes from our introduction, our first problem that we listed. Period one, two, you only have one problem. Period three, four, five, six, this is the first of two problems. You could use my topic sentence and just put in your problem. All right, citing a paraphrase text. Now this information you see here is not accurate. I just completely made this up, but this is a good structure to do it. Don't forget your sentence starters. According to a government website focused on health, the United States has been struggling with food insecurity for nearly 25 years. Notice I paraphrase some without the quotes. What I have in quotes came directly from this website. We don't want to quote everything, especially in bracket challenge three. Now that we're into bracket challenge three, guys, uh, we do not want to just put large chunks of text with quotes around it. We want to paraphrase some and directly quote some. Practice, practice, practice that skill. Okay, the website goes on to say, nice sentence starter. Okay, this is a long quotation. I thought it was all important. Each year that passes gives us another year where the food insecurity rate, specifically for those making less than $25,000 a year, increased by 3.7%. Increases by 3.7%. Editing, have to fix that. Ah. Uh, once again, website after it, things in quotes I directly took out of there, nice sentence starter. Oh, another source, a separate website provided by the Department of Education expands on these numbers when it states that, quote, nearly 27% of people, da 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 da, da gov.food.net. Okay. This is a great way of proving that I have a problem. I think the problem is food insecurity. We know it's a problem, right? We're doing our food drive. We know it's a problem, but can you prove it with data, facts, and information? That is how you make a strong argument. That is how you prove something is true or not true. Okay, boom, done with that. Let's transition. Our transition sentence is like a handcuff. We wanna to link together the cited and paraphrased text to our solution part, or explain the cited text. So I have a two-part transition here. I did it in two sentences. The above text, let's review the above text, proves that food insecurity is a major issue that my administration must not only tackle, but tackle quickly. Let's connect it now to the next part, the solution. To solve the food insecurity issue, the Joseph administration will seek a solution supported by data. So you guys can use my transition sentence, just substitute in your information. Now we go to the solution. Let's see if I can get my face out of the way here. This time our solution paragraph, we're not coming up with a make-believe scenario for a solution, right? And like in our previous bracket challenges, now we're coming up with a data supported, facts supported, expert opinion supported solution. Check out how I did it. The answer to food insecurity, the answer, the solution to food insecurity is not solo in nature, but according to the Swedish government, that answer resides in taxes. This is all make-believe. I came up with all these things, so please don't use this because it's not real. The Swedish prime minister stated in an interview that a raise of the tax percentage levied on the richest 2% of the population in Sweden would cover the cost needed to make up for the budgetary deficits needed to feed all members of a country's population. That would solve the problem of food insecurity. This tax would solve it because it would that tax would produce the money needed to feed everybody. This solution would allow countries to provide food for all their citizens. In the United States, this tax increase would only pertain to the top 1.4% of earners in the country with taxes not being raised on anyone making less than $1.7 million a year. That's from the IRS.gov. So my solutions here aren't just something that, aren't things that just popped out of my head. They aren't make-believe. I'm not growing a money tree here, guys. I'm coming up with actual solutions that have some basis in fact and might actually work. Okay. 
Then I wrap it up with a concluding sentence, which I took from my topic sentence. And of course, here we are. This would be the entire paragraph. Topic sentence, cited in paraphrased text, proving that we have a problem supported by expert opinion and research. A two-step transition that reviews this text and tells us what's up and coming. Down here, our explain the cited text is a solution, the solution we're coming up with, which is supported by expert opinion, facts, and data. Our concluding sentence is the same as our topic sentence. And there you have it, everybody. There's the body paragraph. That's how it's built. All right. You got this. You can do it. Follow my steps. Use stuff that I've done. You're welcome to use the stuff that I've done. Transition sentence, use it. Sub in your information. Topic and concluding, use it. Of course, the cited and paraphrased text proving you have a problem and the solution proving you have a viable solution, those are on you to go out and find websites, experts, uh, and data that support those things. All right, guys, there you go. Body paragraph writing.